Hey, welcome back to Shotoku Tech. This is part two of the DFS namespace and folders with targets video. So we're working on making this drawing right here happen. We've already created the namespace root and Tucson DC3 is the first folder target for the client share and the server share as depicted here. Well, we're going to add a second server using these commands that we've got devised in uh, Excel. Basically, PowerShell script generated from Excel. If you can fill out this portion of this spreadsheet correctly, the script will work. So that's what we're going to do here. And instead of a new DFSN root, we're adding a new DFSN root target, pointing to the second server, namespace dollar sign, namespace hidden share, basically. So we're going to do that to Tucson DC2. And then we're going to add the physical folder, share it, and add the folder target, new DFSN folder target, pointing to Tucson DC2, client one dollar sign, hidden share, and TUS DC2, server one dollar sign, hidden share, down here, so that those shares on DC3, remember we created those, client one, server one, then that'll be shared with on Tucson DC2 as well. So let's get going. We've got our PowerShell open here. First thing, of course, we're going to do is install the Windows features, DFS namespace, DFS replication, and we're going to include the management tools just so keep things simple. There is one thing in the parameters here, this referral priority, and I've just set this referral priority class to site cost normal. That seemed like the most reasonable thing of all the options. And Maybe we'll talk about that further. We're probably going to do like a tuning session after we get all this build out. We still have to build out replication groups and topology, etc. So we've got at least two, three more videos to go here. Trying to keep them short, keep it entertaining. Okay. DFS namespace and DFS replication and the tools are installed. No restart needed. I'm going to go ahead and kick open that DFS GUI here, just so we have that on the second server and can see what's going on. Makes it interesting. I'm going to close server manager there. So right now, let's see if we can find a namespace. Add namespaces to display. Let's all see it sees that namespace one because we did a domain based namespace. So it's advertised within the domain. And we've got the tool installed and we've got the rights as I'm a domain admin and I'm on a domain controller. So we can still look at all of this and see, see, so we see Tucson DC3 is hosting that namespace. And we'll probably see some folders underneath it here. Yeah, there's the folders underneath it. We can see who's hosting those folders, the folder targets. Tucson DC3, client one dollar sign. And same thing here, Tucson DC3 server one dollar sign. So... Let's get Tucson DC2 into the fray here with this next set of commands. First, we're going to create the physical folder, share it as a hidden share, namespace one dollar sign. And then we're going to say new DFSN root target path is going to be namespace one. And we're going to target path is going to be that hidden share we just created. So here we go. Okay, the share is done. Here we're going to add that DFSN root target. Crested object could not be found. Hmm. Yeah, I got an error yesterday. You know, this is my third run at this. And I'm getting just a little bit frustrated when I see that. And let's see now. I'm going to refresh over here. See, it still shows up. Even though we got that requested object could not be found thing. So that's that's kind of an interesting byproduct. I could run the command again. I don't think it's going to work because that object's already in there. Let's go ahead. Cannot object already exists. So <laughs> that's interesting stuff. I love showing you errors while I'm doing this. Actually, I don't. But I leave them in there because it makes my videos just a little bit more real than all the perfect ones. Because you're going to see errors. You're going to make mistakes. Something's going to go wrong. 
and you're going to want to see how to fix it or at least see how to make sure it worked out okay so here goes the next okay that just went right through yeah I, same thing i ran the same command yesterday and got an error much like the one above but let's see if we can get through this last one and then we'll be done for this video okay well now we're just going to check our work going to go over here client one we just need to refresh okay we can see both servers that are hosting that are targets for client one and both uh, servers are hosting server one the hidden share now we don't have replication configured yet so that's going to be next see down here only the domain system volumes listed because we're on a domain controller so that's the sysvol being replicated so we're going to have to add a replication group and a topology so that that'll be coming up next make sure to look for the code down below in the description thank you for watching shitoku tech please subscribe comment like and share